Now for this uh, third school here, uh, we're gonna talk about is called Tessellations. Uh, Tessellations is actually a new school that was founded just two years ago in 2020. Uh, if you know Tessellations, if you've known about Tessellations before, just type a one in the chat. If you haven't, then type a two if you'd like to, um, because it is a new school. So some parents may not know too much about it. Uh, but for Tessellations, the, the definite key point here is that they're curriculum is entirely focused on accommodating gifted students. I would say one takeaway from this school is that they are the most gifted student focused school out of these five. All five do do a, a good to excellent job, but Tessellations really kind of makes that their, uh, their key point here. So that is something to keep in mind and we'll definitely go more into that in the coming slides. Uh, their location is in Cupertino. Uh, their teacher to student ratio is definitely very low at one to five, the same as Nueva. They do have the least amount of students uh, out of all the five schools because they are new at 119. Uh, there is their class breakdown as well uh, for tuition. Uh, I will note that their kindergarten tuition is the cheapest out of the other five schools at 31,000. And their main grade entrance is kindergarten in grade six. And then just a little historical fact about tessellations. If you didn't know, there are a few faculty members that were from Helios that helped found uh, Tessellations. Obviously, one of their main founders was on Beneventi, which was, who was a uh, gifted student, worked for a gifted student counseling uh, organization beforehand. But that's kind of how uh, Tessellations was founded. Uh, just thought it would be an interesting fact since it is a pretty new school. Next, uh, we will move on to uh, this next key point for the SEL and gifted student focus of tessellations. Uh, obviously you're asking, well, how do they uh, do a good job at implementing their, their gifted student focus curriculum uh, for all the students? That's obviously a common question, especially with a new school like tessellations. Well, how they do it here is that the teachers are both experienced and they're even trained with teaching curriculums based on gifted students. That's the personalized classes, uh, making sure that every student is accounted for and that each of their learning outcomes is planned out in detail so that they're meeting all of their uh, target points and that they can uh, meet the most of their, their potential and that they're also taking care of for the uh, aspects that they need improvements in. And then in addition to that, the school also has 19 gifted advisors to ensure that students meet their potential. Obviously, it does take a village to, to raise a child, to raise a class of, of of, of students. So they have these 19 gifted advisors that come in as, as well that help with student. They, they talk with students. They also talk with teachers to make sure that all of the path, their pathways are, um, are getting met to the fullest of their potential and that they are uh, successful and also like, enjoying their education. And then regarding uh, their SEL integration, social emotional learning is a focus from lower school. And the two main topics here include relationship building with other students, as well as mindfulness. So that relationship building, that interpersonal communication with other students, uh, frequent communication with other students, as well as the mindfulness factor, which is making sure that students are aware of both their own emotions, how they're expressing their emotions, as well as recognizing the emotions of other children and being able to uh, hit the key social cues uh, to further strengthen their communication skills. And then these last two points here is that they do highlight uh, the developing, they do highlight developing uh, gifted students areas of improvement. Like we said that that asynchronous development, there, there are key points and key topics that the students will be very good at and they will excel at, which makes them gifted. But then there's other areas where they may need improvement on. So they try to hit both points and tackle both points here. So they wanna make sure that they're developing gifted students as areas of improvement uh, gradually. So those aren't forgotten about, but also their curriculum is multiple years above the common core system so that they can uh, excel and they can uh, move up levels in the subjects that they are definitely uh, skillful in. And then here is a couple extra key characteristics regarding tessellations. Uh, one big factor here regarding tessellations, this is similar to Helios where they do have an emphasis on outside learning. However, uh, the main difference here is that instead of having it be uh, shorter, like overnight trips or going uh, say 35, 45 miles away to a weekend trip, tessellations has actually um, 
done it a slightly different way, and they've integrated their own uh, nature campus in order to give students more of that outdoor learning experience so that they can uh, learn from a different aspect and gain those real life skills and have uh, the have the opportunity to to learn in an outdoor environment because it, it for parents it is hard for uh, it is hard to organize those kind of activities over the weekend with parents working and having all these other responsibilities so uh, tessellations and obviously Helios as well they try to do their best to uh, provide those services for the students so that they don't miss out on those opportunities because they are important um, it is the nature campus that tessellations has established is located in the free Older Nature Preserve, which for those who don't know, it's about a 12 minute drive from the campus. And don't worry, you don't have to drive your student there uh, and you know get lost or ha have to go in this uh, uh, foresty road that may be hard to navigate or hard to get back. Students are transported via bus uh, to the campus uh, from the main campus in, in uh, uh, Tessellations, that's in Cupertino, on their assigned day and it's built into their, to their schedule. And then these two last points here is that they do have a focus on project-based learning uh, over a heavy testing curriculum, just like the other schools. And then for math, students are also grouped by ability instead of grade. For these feedbacks regarding uh, tessellations, it is a very new school, but we do have a couple feedbacks here from parents. Uh, this first one here says uh, our second grader uh, definitely likes tessellations um, and they have greatly benefited from the low teacher to student ratio and personalized learning experience. As we said, the teacher to student ratio is very low at one to five. And then the second parent said that for math, they do like that it's based off skill rather than age. So more class mobility there. And they also like that the curriculum for learning, uh, they weave all of the kind of core topics such as science, social studies, creative writing, and so forth into, into themes as, as opposed to like hard units. And then this uh, last point here from the parent, from this, from a, another parent said that, um, our son has definitely had a good first semester at Tessellation. They definitely like uh, the passionate teachers and the curriculum, and they are very appreciative of the small uh, yet open community. Uh, so this shows that despite the school being relatively new, they have already started to establish that very tightly knit parent community. And one thing I will say regarding schools that do have a lower student population is that it can be easier to actually make deeper connections with parents because you will talk with them uh, more often often uh, more closely and you can uh, make that community uh, even more tightly fit. So that's just something to keep in mind, uh, but we'll now move on to uh, our fourth school now.